pre-running was pretty badass this week. Uh, we did uh, four days, I think, of solid pre-running. Um, uh, Cameron Seeley came out and helped me write the notes. He's a guy I used to rally against, and, and uh, he's knowledgeable on doing kind of note systems, so that was really cool to have somebody to kind of bounce back and forth with on ideas on how to note some of the stuff. Um, the course has changed, you know, a little bit over those days that we were pre-running. Um, it's a pretty tough course. Uh, I'm super excited to be racing the number 19. Honestly, like, humbled to be racing with the Herbs. Uh, it's a huge, huge operation. Um, you know, it's it's a pretty cool feeling to, to get to race a caliber truck like this. Um, you know, I think this is my 10th Baja 1000. Uh, and I've been working all these years to try to get here. So, you know, starting with, with buggies and getting into stock mini and stock full and last year racing class one and this year in trophy truck is an amazing feeling. Uh, I've been working hard to get here. So, um, you know, qualify the truck uh, 10th. So we're kind of in, in a good spot. I'm right behind Ryan Arciero and Rob McCachran. Um, my plan is for my section, just keep it clean, keep it smart. Um, you know, I'm surrounded with some pretty talented guys that have a lot, of, lot more experience than I do down here. So uh, I'm gonna kind of just cruise and make no mistakes. And, and um, you know, a flat tire is really detrimental for me through this section. So uh, I, I've got to stretch our fuel load to 200 miles. So. Um, you know that's going to be kind of close, so uh, that, that's going to require me to be pretty, pretty gentle with the throttle pedal, and you know I need to push the tires that long too. So um, you know 200 miles they're capable of, but uh, they're going to start falling off when we need them the most. Um.
Off the finish, that was quick. Yeah, that was really quick. Put it in, put my foot in it. And uh, you, know, you, you can't uh, 